Hey guys, it's Thunder Splash, and in this episode we're going to be talking about how to make an NPC follow a player. I want to do a quick shout out before we start. Thank you guys for watching my videos, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm obviously learning, but I'm getting better as we go, so um, thanks once again for watching my videos. We're at 77 subscribers, let's go, let's get up to 100, we can do it. Um, like I said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. You know, all that stuff's great, okay? And it really helps me understand what I'm doing wrong or what I'm improving on, so please, 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 please don't forget to do those things. And without further ado, um, enjoy the video. All right, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click, look for animation, then go to Animation Blueprint, and select Skeleton Cat. After that, we're gonna rename it. After that, we're going to click, go to animation, click on blend space 1D, look for cat skeleton, rename it. Next, we're going to add in the animations that we want the cat to do. After that, we're going to open up the animation blueprint. And now we're going to add a new state machine. So now that we've done that, let's drag the blend space onto the animation graph. And we're going to connect entry to cat blend. Next, we'll drag out the animation, and we will connect the animation to the cap blend. Next, we'll double click on cap blend. After that, we're going to add a variable, we're going to name it speed, and we're going to change it from boolean to a float. We'll drag the speed onto the graph, and we'll connect it to the cap blend. After that, we'll click on the sleep star animation, and we'll uncheck loop animation. And we'll do the same thing for our lie sleep end animation. Next, we'll double click. We're gonna add a variable. This is sleep. We're gonna connect it to can enter transition. We'll do the same for this one as well, and we're gonna look for not full. state machine again, click on the pens, and then we'll search for time remaining, animation cat live sleep end. After that we'll look for a float greater than float, change this to one, and connect to the can enter transition. Compile. Go back to new state machine. <laughs> now 
After that, we'll make sure sleep has been unchecked. Next, we'll go to the event graph. We'll drag the speed onto the animation graph. Connect it to event blueprint update animation. After that, we'll search for get velocity and connect it to try get pawn owner. Next, we'll search for vector length. And connect it to the speed. After that, we'll go back to third person character, duplicate it, and rename it to Cat Blueprint. Double click. After that, we're going to go to Viewport and change the mesh. We're going to change it from the mannequin to one of the cats. After that, we're going to go to Animation Class, and we're going to select Cat Animation. Wow. After that, we're going to go to Character Movement, and we're going to type in Speed. And we're going to adjust the Max Walk Speed to the speed that we had in our Animation Blueprint. Alright, so next, we're going to go to Event Graph. We're going to search for Event Begin Play. After that, we're going to look for Cast to Cat Animation. Next, we're going to grab the mesh. We're going to look for Get Animation Instance. Then we're going to connect it to Cast to Cat Animation. After that, we're going to promote the Cast to Cat Animation to a variable. Next, we're going to look for set timer by event. Change the time to 0.1. Click looping. And now we're going to look for add custom event and title it follow player. After that, we're going to connect it to a branch. Next, we're going to look for cast to third person character. After that, we're going to look for AI move 2. And then we're going to have the pawn reference itself. Now we're going to connect third person character to target actor. And we're going to drag ASCAT animation to the graph and look for sleep. After that, we're going to search for not fully in and we're going to connect it to the branch. After that, we're going to click on Object and search for Get Player Character. Next, we'll go back to AI Move 2, change the acceptance radius to 100. Now, we just need to look for nav mesh. Resize it. And press
press P so we're able to see it. Now we just need to drag our cat into the scene and press play. And as you can see, the cat now follows the player. Hey y'all, if you like these type of videos, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Later.